What's going on, Malakis? It's your boy, VNNCC3 here, and we got Mr. Cupid Chips right here. We're gonna YOLO rally this 751 million might player in war gear. That's all I'm gonna say, Scoobs. But yeah, we're gonna, we're just waiting right now. We're waiting for the rally to start. Here we go, boom. It's gonna be probably all infantry. Is it gonna be like a five? Oh, okay, so 406. Okay, I got you. So 406 would be 40, 80, so I need at least, what, 80,000 T4? And then the rest of it's gonna be this, so I'll go with like 60,000 T4, because it's gonna really, really hurt. Let's go with like 110,000. Uh, boom. I'm gonna lose a boatload of troops, but let's go anyways, boys. Let's do it. I have a question, Hashcrab1 in the comments section. If you think that I wore it better or Loke Dog wore it better, who wore it better? Let me know, guys. Five, four, three, two. I can't look, man. He's got 8 million T3 range. We are hoping that. Ooh, oh, we're hoping he doesn't get capped. We're hoping he doesn't get capped. This is gonna hurt. Look at my might. Oh. We got a march back. We got a march back. Let's go, boys. It was a big defeat, but we got a march back. That's a big, that's a big kill. You're like, oh, you only killed so many DNN. Look at it, bro. He's got 16.8 million true. Probably going to send 100% range. There we go. Let's go 175. Sure. I don't mind losing, I don't mind losing T4 like that. It's not a big deal to me. All right, let's get a heal up. Let me go into this report, by the way, for you guys, right? So no, look at this wall HP. Smart player. Smart player. Almost no wall HP. Look at these troops, bro. And yes, Chips has got 11k heroes. Everybody lost pretty much everything, man. Ugh, this sucks, man. I hate losing. What did I lose? Anyways, I probably lost a bunch. Yeah, 50k Ancient Drake Riders. Ugh. I hate losing T4 like that, but it's exciting to do these kind of rallies. What? It was at this moment Jackson knew. He fucked up. What is this guy on, man? Look at this, Scoobs. This g Come on, man. Bomb and Goblin. Bomb and Goblin. Just use him. He's so much better. So much better. 2.8 million Ancient Drake Riders. Once we chew through these Ancient Drake Riders, he's, going to, he's in Cav Phalanx, right? So his range will be next. So then it'll be 100% infantry after this. This guy's totally in La La Land. 99. It's gonna burn him. It's gonna. It has to burn him. It's. It has to burn him. Let's go, boys. Let's go. That's a huge hit. That's a huge hit. Look at that man. Ninety-eight point three k, and we still won the fight. Let's go. Ninety-one million drop, boys. This guy has. What does he have left? Next to no cavalry left, so he's basically on uh, on range. So it's a little tricky. 772k left. Okay, check this out. Right, these infantry and these cav right here. It's formation manipulation. He's basically preying on the fact that these range units and everybody else is going to engage the first squad and then the second squad. Watch, first volley. Yeah, I see a royal guards right there. Dunskies. They're all done. And then it's going to be the Royal Cavs, right? He's buying us time by doing that. He's buying the troops, all of these ranged troops, time so that all of his whole force doesn't come and bang us up. Look at the morale differences, right? Every time, every time any of these guys shoot, they're doing massive amounts of damage. Just massive amounts of damage. It's, it's going to get really close down to the wire, too, I bet, towards the end. Once the first squad goes down, all of these are going to go towards the other one. Yep. Major, major, major losses right here now on our end. I know you guys can't see it too well with the, with the overlay that's right here, but it's okay. Work with me here. 4% to our 30%. Now it's 2%. 1% to our 20 Come on. We got this, though. Boom. 
See that right there? The Magister stands alone. Okay, so here we go. He, he uh, 3XD is being a big buddy right now. He's saying, hey, pal, here's my leader. You can have it. Let's go, boys. And it smoked him. Another million down? So he put the calves in front. I would have put the ranged in front, honestly. That's what I would have done, because we lost all of the calves. Okay, he's got no calves, literally. So he's on in he's on range basically. So 100 percent infantry is what's gonna happen. Keep my eyes on the prize. Making sure my infirmaries are clear. Because I don't want to be that guy. Okay, they're good. I don't want to be that guy. So I've lost like probably one or 200k T4. <laughs> not so fun. It's not so fun when it's you losing the T4. This is was 608 million. Oh, <laughs> it was a huge hit. <laughs> 113! Ooh, it's so bad! It's so bad! Let me look right here. What's this guy got left? Is He still has range left? What? Nani? Let's go, boys. One, zero. It's launching. Let's go. Was 462? <laughs> 80 million drop. 79, my bad. 3.7 million left. So watch, you're going to wonder, like, why did we not kill all of the range? Because remember, I told you how the units work. They always attack the closest unit to them. So because his range are all the way in the front, once he loses two squads of that, it puts the infantry in front. Literally, that's what it does. When you go to view battle, you're going to see what I'm seeing right now. Right. Once the, once you see the first two squads, their healths go down to zero, all of our units are going to start fighting his infantry. That's just the way it works. Right. Go right past his infantry, which is fine. You see these two health bars. Once those two health bars go down, you'll see a two set of health bars in the back start to pop up. And there's no other YouTubers that point that kind of stuff out to you guys. I don't know why they don't. Come on, come on, come on. Watch the two. Ah, see what I mean? Two health bars in the back. His range units are still up in the front. It's because it's the way they... It's it's how close they are, guys. The, the infantry will always be the closest unit to you. And so even if you do a cavalry... Uh, if you do a cavalry phalanx or... My bad, not a cavalry phalanx. But I don't know. I'm not going to get too into depth with it. But hopefully you guys know what I'm talking about, right? Uh, I'm really thinking this this rally from, from Chips is going to end up zeroing him in this one hit. This is a really big zero. It really truly is. What's he got left? Cannoneers? Yep. There we go. I got him. And so some people, I want to make sure I clear the win. Some people have a huge pet peeve over getting the last hit. But did you see this guy right here? This, this, this Mr. This King, Mr. 85. He sent in a march to steal this guy's leader so that he could give it back to him, right? That's the reason why I sent in my solo march, just in case you guys are wondering, all right? And Chips will take his leader. I don't, I, it's not a trophy for me to have his leader. Like, it really hasn't. I've been playing this game for too long. I really have been. But there we go. Let's even get everybody to emote this. Here we go. We got one guy. <laughs> there we go. Let's go, boys and gals, puppy monkey babies, everybody. This guy doesn't buy gems by any means. What do you mean, Scoobs? I don't buy gems. 
Are you serious, bro? This guy, that's all I'm gonna say here, rip him. This is a super low core might for like what he was packing. Like this guy, he needed more research, better gear by a lot. With that many range units, if you've got like literally, let, let's just start off with the, with the first rally, okay? The first rally that hit, the first rally that hit, right? This guy's got 10 million, 10 10.6 million range units. 10.6 million out of 16 million. He should have had four ranged heroes on the wall. That would have done so much better, but this guy just didn't, I don't know, man. I don't know what's wrong with that guy. But anyways, guys, look, tell what I'm talking about though, right? Love peace and chicken grease. Be safe. Thanks for stopping by. Just spend some of your quality time. And stay classy.